can you make a bone spur go away? Yes, but I gotta tell you exactly why and how, and there's a lot to it. So bone spurs will not go away by themselves. But believe it or not, they don't show up by themselves either. So let me show you what a bone spur looks like. Here's the x-ray image of a gentleman standing. The spaces between the bones are where the discs go. You'll notice these two discs look pretty healthy, but that one's narrow. And look at the corner of the bone. There is sharp, pointy bone spurs growing out. In fact, this right here is a big, giant, hook-like bone spur that's coming up at the bottom of the spine. This is the S1 level, L5, S1. Disc is narrowed. These two bones are starting to fuse and grow together. Bone spurs are areas where bones start to grow together. What starts the process can be anything from a misaligned vertebra to trauma, to repetitive micro trauma. In fact, other things like ligamentous trauma, where a ligament gets injured can lead to calcification. Scar tissue can also calcify in areas of trauma. So once there's trauma, let's say there's whiplash, within 12 hours, scar tissue starts to form in the area of trauma. That scar tissue can calcify. Now, it has to be severely calcified for it to show up on x-ray. So there are some experts who say it takes 15 years for that calcified scar tissue or ligament to actually show up as a bone spur on x-ray. So if you see a bone spur on your x-ray and if it's a small bone spur, it's still probably been there a very, very long time, way longer than you think it would have been there. Why do bone spurs form? Let's answer that before I tell you whether they can go away and how we can get them to go away. There's a concept called Wolf's Law, which states that bone grows in areas of stress. As an example, let's say I'm a boxer and I'm constantly punching things. Well, these two knuckles are gonna be way bigger and thicker and stronger than the rest of it. And these bones will get bigger and thicker too because I'm constantly stressing that bone, bone grows. If a bone breaks, that bone will grow stronger afterwards once it mends. My father was a boxer. His nose was practically flat, but he had broken it multiple times. And the doctor, last time they x-rayed it, it wasn't broken. The doctor said this, thing will take a sledgehammer to break. It's that solid because every time it repaired, it was thicker and stronger. So bone grows in areas of stress. Also bone grows in areas of immobility. If I immobilize my elbow or my knee, the bones will start to grow together and fuse. As long as I keep moving, it's not gonna do that. So immobility, sometimes vertebrae in the spine, for example, this gentleman's L5 vertebra, it's probably not moving because it's been held in place for long enough where the bones are starting to grow together. Sometimes bones grow in the human body in an attempt to stabilize something like this. You've heard of the fusion surgery some people get. Well, when there's disc damage, sometimes the neurosurgeon or the orthopedic surgeon will put brackets, rods, and screws into the bone to get the bone to fuse together. They wanna to accelerate this process to remove pain and discomfort. Obviously, you want every bone to move. So if something is misaligned or locked in place and it's not moving properly, the best way to fix it and stop the bone spur growth process is a chiropractic adjustment to unlock, mobilize, and realign what that bone is and teach it to move properly so it doesn't get locked up again. So those are all the causes of why bone spurs form. In fact, when a bone gets misaligned, the ligaments around that bone start to tug on the bone. So it pulls on the periosteum, which is the skin around the bone. In fact, that's where all the nerve endings are. That's where the pain comes from. It pulls, as it pulls, it causes that bone to grow and the bone grows in the path of that ligament that's pulling. That's called ligamentous tugging, which leads to what's called marrow edema, edema inside the bone. It's visible on MRI, not x-ray. You can actually see edema or swelling inside a bone. You know that person's gonna grow a bone spur within the next 15 years. Stop it early, prevent it. Now, we all know people who have been injured. Let's say they're a war veteran and they severed their spinal cord and they're paralyzed. Those are people who have to sit in a wheelchair all the time. They never put weight on their bones. Remember what I said, areas of stress grow bone. So if you keep putting weight on your legs, the leg bones will stay strong. But if you stop putting weight on your legs, you get osteoporosis. The bones in the legs become hollow and osteoporotic, and eventually they won't be able to support the weight anymore. So stressing the bones like through exercise, jogging, walking, lifting weights will keep your bones solid and prevent osteoporosis. Not putting weight on them can lead to osteoporosis. How does that apply to a bone spur? Well, 
there's stress on this and that's why that bone spur is solid and strong when you take the stress off of it that bone spur can over time become osteoporotic the need for the bone spur goes away and the body will begin to resorb those bone cells little by little the same thing that happens to the gentleman who sits in a wheelchair all day and their bones are not as solid or dense as they used to be they become osteoporotic you can get the bone spur to become osteoporotic now you have to create the perfect environment and you have to keep the pressure off that area for at least 15 years and you'll start to see little by little it's a very long process 15 years alone is a long time but that's when it starts and little by little that bone spur can get smaller but who has time to wait for all of that so for all practical purposes you can't get rid of a bone spur once it's there it's there let's prevent it not try to reverse it but once it's happened if you do make the corrections to the spine unlock the joint get it moving take pressure off that bone the body knows how to start resorbing the bone and those bone cells will start to be removed one by one little by little and over a very very long period of time over decades if your body is not inflamed as well bone spur can resorb and start to go away so scientifically yes it's possible to get rid of a bone spur clinically practically it's very difficult so make sure you don't ever grow that bone spur in the first place and if you have one see the chiropractor start getting the adjustments so that the bone spur doesn't get bigger that should be your main concern let's say this gentleman who is probably uh, i believe in his early 80s what if at the age of 100 that bone spur isn't any bigger he has enough strength to stand and walk on his own and pick things up that he wants he's able to enjoy his life and live a good life but the bone spur never got any smaller and never got any bigger i would say that's a good sign i hope this helps you i hope now you understand how you can get rid of a bone spur but it takes a long time and the best thing to do is what prevent the bone spur in the first place share the video comment below and subscribe to our channel so you don't miss any other videos